I'm here with Chef Will at Azul in the Mandarin Oriental, right here in Miami. And we're gonna have some pork belly. Yummy. Not just pork belly, but we have some pork tenderloin, bacon wrapped carrots, braised red cabbage, sassafras carrot puree. This is my type of food. Perfect. To start off, we have to add some fat to the Of course. Bag. What would it be without fat? I like to use grapeseed oil. Grape it's seed. completely neutral, so it doesn't cover up the flavor. For the red cabbage, yes. since we have fat here, and we have fat here, yes. no fat. I don't know if this is for me if there's no fat. Oh, we'll add fat later. The pork tenderloin. We have these bacon-wrapped carrots. Carrots are wrapped in the thinly sliced bacon. We need a little bacon to go with the pork. You can't get enough pig on one plate. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it in the broiler on low heat just to get it crispy. Now we got some heat in the pan. I have some liquid butter. Vermonte. Now the butter's getting all foamy. The cabbage is done. So all we have to do is let it rest, and that's it. So this is really contemporary French cuisine. We like to use local ingredients, American ingredients, yeah. whenever possible. Now it's time to flip our pork tenderloin. Definitely made in America. Who else would have so much fat? Now you can just take the spoon and just keep spooning luscious, silky butter. And what will that do for us? Butter can only reach a certain temperature. This okay. is going to make the cooking process even. It's also going to slow it down. Low and slow cooking keeps all the juices so inside. So clever. Now remember what we said. We're gonna marry the ingredients. Are they ready to marry? They are ready to marry. I'm gonna drain off the excess butter. First, we have a little red cabbage butter whipped with pork fat. We're gonna plate everything in a line so you can scoop that juice up. The speed I eat it, you don't really need to worry about the line. Tell me, when you were at culinary school, did they have a basketball team? No, they didn't. You would have been captain. Oh, I wish. We have our bacon-wrapped carrots, our carrot puree. Mm, let's brighten the plate up. Our cauliflower soil. This is a representation of where the carrots came from, the garden itself. Cooked in pork fat, no less. Amaranth flour. This yep. adds a little bit of tang to the plate, a little bit of bite, some texture. A little bit of chive. Malabar spinach buds. These are a little bit bitter. It helps balance it out and make it a little bit more composed. And where are all these from? These are all from South Florida, locally grown. Very pretty dish. Pound after pound, I am eating and eating and eating. I think I've come up with a solution. I've got some very, very special guests today. Five of the top personal trainers in Miami. Our first dish, we have our applewood smoked lettuce, and it's smoked table side. Whoa, I can smell the applewood. What's in there? Lamb chopper, sheep's milk, cheese espuma, locally grown lettuces, herbs, banyuls vinaigrette, and the applewood smoke. The cheese and the applewood smoke make it reminiscent of bacon without actually having to eat bacon. It must be for trainers, because there's no bacon in it. The aroma will stay on the lettuce in a very delicate way. Guys, it's Enjoy. everyone for themselves. Let us know what you think. Mmm. He's right. That has smoky flavor. A little different? Cheese. I uh, love cheese. Did you get some cheese? Yes, and I love cheese. I don't understand this, all these trainers and <laughs> cheese. <laughs> Time to start sinning. We have pork belly with pork tenderloin. It's this luscious, rich dish. It's decadent. Very, very rich. It's delicious. Oh, no. Mmm. Try some of the vegetables, please. I'm trying to go for the bad stuff. <laughs> I think everyone is going to have to go to confessional later. It's really fresh. It's really tender. It's really flavorful. It's an awesome dish, and it tastes great. Ow, are there messages going to your brain? Stop, stop. My brain says no. <laughs> but my tongue says give me more. Go for it. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. They'll all be coming to Fat Farm with me. <laughs> it melts in your mouth. I love so, it. What is your speciality on the training side? I do any home training. Do you have to shake them out of bed? Pretty much. <laughs> do you open their fridge? <laughs> Sometimes. You'd retire if you saw my fridge. <laughs> you wouldn't know where to start. Now we have a spiced carnarolia risotto with Key West pink shrimp. It has butter, olive oil, Parmesan cheese, carrots. Basically, beer. all the ingredients that trainers love to hear. Butter, olive oil, and cheese. They're all celibate on cheese. <laughs> wow, it's been a long time. Ah, oh, it's been a long time. <laughs> We have short ribs with rainbow cauliflower, braised white asparagus, white Worcestershire sauce, and cauliflower crust. How long was this braising for? About eight hours. Divine. Perfect. It's just absolutely perfect. Melt in the mouth. I feel so encouraged seeing you all eat like this. I know that I've chosen the right path <laughs> in life. I eat like this twice a day now. 
It goes with the job. Any suggestions? Get a trainer. A great suggestion. I found five. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for being my guest. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having us.